we have a new tool for tracking how much time students have spent on their online course. It's called Course Dedication and it's a block. If you scroll down you'll find it, Course Dedication. Your estimated dedication time is 8 hours and 48 minutes. This means that I, the person who's logged in right now, I have spent 8 hours and 48 minutes. So you always see in this place your own time. A teacher sees their own time, an administrator sees their own amount of time they've spent in that course in particular, and a student sees how much time they've spent in that course. There's an extra tool um, so teachers can get an overview of their entire class and it's right here. So I just want to mention that um, the way that this number is generated, this eight hours, is when you first click on the course website to the next time you click on the course website is a time interval and it will calculate how long it was between clicks and it'll add that onto your total time in the course dedication. Now sometimes it can be an issue if a student's watching a movie and there's a bit of time between clicks, um, you want to make sure that that time they have spent watching the movie is still included. So we have set this up so you can have up to 150 minutes between clicks and as long as you click again at the end it will count that time. So the maximum time between clicks can be 150 minutes. If it's more time than that then it will not count that in the course dedication. Also, one click is not enough to add to your course dedication time. When you go into the course, you have to click at least two times to make a time interval that can be calculated. Okay, So in this course dedication tool, this special tool for teachers, there's a spot here where you can configure it. It's hopefully open. If not, you might just need to open it up, open up the menu, and you can select the range of dates. So suppose you want to see your course started on the 20th of November. You might want it to start on the 20th of November and maybe you want to go up until today. Maybe you want to go up to a certain date um, in December. It's up to you. This is very, very important. Limit between clicks in minutes. So on the main page it's set to 150 minutes. So here it should also be set to 150 minutes so that the number the student sees will be the same as the number that you see. And it will always, every time you come back into this dedication tool, it always goes back to 60, so you have to change this every time. You click Calculate and scroll down and you will see how much time your students have spent. So I've made up some pretend students just to test it out make sure it works and also so you wouldn't see um, real students names for their own privacy um, and if you have a whole course you'll see a big 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 long list of students you can also download um, an Excel file with all the information that might be helpful for you okay so remember the key thing here is that on the main course website the number that you see in that block is your own hours and the students can see their hours. To see your whole class you click on the dedication tool, you set your time interval and the minutes between clicks to 150 and you will get how long your students have spent on your course. Thank you.